Hey Church, my name's Keith, I'm the Missions Director at this Church and it's a privilege to be sharing devotion with you today. Hope you're enjoying our series uh, about my mission, my influence and looking at how uh, we use our influence um, for God and the people that God has put in our world. Um, I want us to look at John chapter 4 and it's an amazing chapter with so much in there and I would encourage you at another time maybe or if you've got time on this after this video to read the whole chapter of John chapter 4. It's the account of when Jesus meets the Samaritan woman at the well and it's pretty amazing really. There's so many taboos and different reasons why Jesus shouldn't be talking to her but he meets her in right where she was at and there's loads of stuff in there it's the the part of the bible where jesus talks about being the living water he says you know you will have to drink this water and you'll be thirsty again but if you drink from the living water you will never be thirsty again uh, that's a great passage and she is has her life impacted jesus speaks right into a situation with her relationships and her family and it's a miracle and she goes back to her town and says come and see the man who told me everything I've ever done and it's a great miraculous story of Jesus impacting the woman's life and then impacting the community as a result I mean the disciples didn't get it they were like what are you doing talking to this woman this is this is wrong what why are you letting this happen and Jesus says the fields are ripe for harvest it's an amazing chapter loads of stuff in there but I want to pick up on verse 39 to 42 because it really helps us understand about our influence verse 39 John chapter 4 many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony he told me everything I've ever done so when the Samaritans came to him they urged him to stay with them and he stayed two days and because of his words, many, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. No, now we've heard for ourselves and we know that this man really is the saviour of the world. Oh my gosh, what an amazing verse. The people in the town came to hear God because of the testimony of the woman. And I just want us to understand that we don't have to be preachers, we don't have to be an evangelist, uh, we don't have to be um, as much as they think we do. All we have to do to influence our world is to share what God has done in our life. That's it. That's your truth, your testimony. The power of your people will be set free by the blood of the Lamb and the power of our testimony. And as we do that, they will come and look to find out what Jesus is all about. And I love that verse that says, we no longer believe just because of what you said. We've actually now discovered the saviour of the world for ourselves, which is amazing. And I would love it, especially this Christmas time that's coming up soon, that we would be bold enough to share our testimony of what God has done in our life. And then maybe... Tell our friends, work colleagues, family members, why don't you come and see the man who told me everything I've ever done? Why don't you come and see um, the God in my life, which will be amazing. And use that as an opportunity to invite people to Christmas, invite people to church, invite people to meet your saviour. Um, and the power of our testimony is so important. So maybe today God's asking you to share what God's done in your life with the people in your world. And invite them to come and see the Saviour. Have a great day, church.